what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel look at this nice and beautiful question on the board that we're going to be solving and the question says find the value of x for which 4 to the x minus 2 is equal to 15. well our first step will be for us to take the log of both sides so I'm going to be taking the log of the left hand side which is log 4 to the x minus 2 equal to the log of the right hand side which is log 15 our next step will be for us to apply the property of logarithm which says for example when I have log a to the n this is equal to n log a. So let's apply this property here. So this expression can be written as x minus 2, which is x minus 2 log 4, log 4, just as it is here, equal to log 15. Our next step will be for us to open up this bracket by multiplying log 4 by x and minus 2. So let's open up this bracket. So x times log 4, we have x log 4 minus 2 times log 4, we have 2 log 4. And this is equal to log 15. Our next step will be for us to move negative 2 log 4 to the right hand side so that we have x log 4 remaining on the left to be equal to I've already got log 15 on the right so as negative 2 log 4 crosses to the right it becomes plus 2 log 4 and since we're looking for x our next step will be for us to divide both sides by log 4 so i'll divide the left hand side by log 4 i'll also divide the right hand side by log 4. now notice that log 4 can cancel off log 4 leaving behind x to be equal to well our next step will be for us to split the fraction on the right hand side so this can be written as log 15 so log 15 over the denominator log 4 plus now the same thing here 2 log 4 divide by log 4 now notice that log 4 can cancel off log 4 so we have x to be equal to now log 15 can be written as log 3 times 5 because 3 times 5 is 15 all over log 4 Plus, now what we have remaining here is 2. Our next step will be for us to apply another property of logarithm, which says, for example, when I have log A times B, this is equal to log A plus log B. We're going to be applying this property of logarithm to what we have here on the numerator. Let's do that on the next slide. So, applying this property of logarithm here on the numerator, we have x to be equal to, now this can be written as log 3 plus log 5 all over log 4. 
plus 2. Our next step will be for us to split the fraction. So we have x to be equal to, so we have log 3 all over log 4 plus log 5 all over log 4 and then plus 2. Now notice that 4 can be written as 2 squared. So this becomes x equal to log 3 all over log. So instead of writing 4, I'm going to be writing 2 squared plus log 5 all over the same thing here. This becomes log 2 squared and then plus 2. Our next step will be for us to apply yet another law or property of logarithm which says for example when I have log a to the n this is equal to n log a. I believe we've applied this property before and we're going to be applying it this time on the denominator. So we have x to be equal to log 3 all over. Now this becomes 2 log 2 just as this property here plus log 5 all over. The same thing this becomes 2 log 2 and then plus 2. Now this expression and this expression the numerators are having one here and one here because that's the coefficient of log 3 there is an invisible one here so we can bring this one out and write it like this is 1 over 2 so this is equal to 1 over 2 so before writing log 3 over log 2 it's the same thing plus let's bring this 1 over 2 out so 1 over 2 then before writing log 5 over log 2 and then plus 2. Our next step will be for us to apply the property of logarithm which is the change of base property. Let's say for example when I have log a over log b this can be written as log a base b. So let's apply this property to what we have here and here. And we're going to be doing that on the next slide. So applying this property here, I'm going to be having x to be equal to 1 over 2. So this becomes using the property of change of base, we have log 3 base 2 plus the same thing happens here 1 over 2 log 5 base 2 and then plus 2 and this becomes our final answer well we can check to see if our answer is correct so let's check we're given 4 to the x minus 2 to be equal to 15 Let's see if we're going to be having the left hand side to be equal to the right hand side. Let's see if we have that. So this is 4 to the x. And x is what we have here. There's a value for x. So I'm going to be writing it there. So we have 1 over 2 log 3 base 2 plus 1 over 2 log 5 base 2 and then plus 2. Here we have minus 2 so let's put minus 2 there equal to 15. So we're seeing if we're going to be having 15. 
Now, 2 minus 2 is 0, so they are gone. So we have 4. Now, notice that 1 over 2 is common. So we can factor that out. So 1 over 2. Now, we have log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2. And this is equal to 15. Now, notice that 4 is same as 2 squared. So, 2 squared, and this is raised to the 1 over 2. Now, from the property of logarithm, when I have, for example, log A, okay, let's say log A base B plus log C base B, Notice that they have the same base. So we can just take the common log of base B. So log of base B. And since we have plus here, what we have here are going to be multiplying, which is A times C. So we're going to be applying this property of logarithm to what we have here. So we have the same log of 2, which is common. So we factor that out. So we have a common log of base 2. So log of base 2. Now 3 times 5 is 15. Now from the law of indices, the powers multiply. So 2 times 1 over 2, this 2 can cancel out, leaving behind 2 to the log 15 base 2. And this is equal to the right hand side, which is 15. I was supposed to write 15 here. Very good. Now, there is another property, an interesting property of logarithm, which says when I have log A base B, but before this, I have a base of B. When the base here is same as the base here, the answer or the value is equal to a now notice that the base here and the base here are the same so making the value to be 15 so we have 15 on the left to be equal to 15 on the right thereby proving our answer well feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video and I've learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.